today we'll be discussing about regulation of arterial blood pressure before going into the topic proper we should have few definitions what is blood pressure blood pressure as we know is the lateral pressure exerted by blood on the blood vessels wall that is the blood pressure it is divided into a systolic blood pressure and diastolic bp the maximum pressure exerted in the artery during systole is systolic bp normally is 120 mm of mercury diastolic bp is the minimum pressure exerted in the arteries during diastole that and is normally it is 80 The pulse pressure is another term the difference between systolic pressure and diastolic pressure is the pulse pressure this 120 minus 80 40 in this case mean arterial pressure is the pressure existing in the arteries this is average pressure existing in the blood vessels and it is mean arterial pressure is diastolic bp plus 1/3 of the pulse pressure hope this point is clear now i uh, look into what is blood pressure blood pressure the formula can be cardiac output into peripheral resistance so what is cardiac output cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate so blood pressure can is stroke volume into heart rate into peripheral resistance any factors that affect the stroke volume heart rate and peripheral resistance ultimately affects the blood pressure so changes in any of these can be done too so the any change can be controlled by and that leads on to regulation of blood pressure so regulation of blood pressure can be in the short term and in the long term first we look into the short term regulation the nervous mechanisms comes at the top the nervous mechanisms are the baroreceptor response the cns ischemic response and the chemoreceptors then comes the hormonal mechanisms hormonal mechanisms also act immediately the catecholamines renin angiotensin system and vasopressin they also play a role then comes the miscellaneous miscellaneous are capillary fluid shift and stress relaxation and reverse stress relaxation about which we will discuss later so in the next session we'll be discussing on the nervous mechanisms hope this was useful to you